Hi friends, welcome to my first reading journal setup. This is my yearly spreads for my 2024 reading journal. I have never done reading journal content on my channel before, but I'm really excited to be doing it this year. Over the years, I have started and never kept up with various bullet journals, reading journals, planners, whatever. I love the idea of it, but for some reason it's really hard for me to keep up with. And before I've kind of taken the approach of I'm not going to put much time into it because if I do, then it's just like wasted time because I'm not going to continue doing it. But this year I put a lot of time into my yearly spreads. I think seeing something that I'm proud of and happy with how it turned out I'm more likely to keep up with it. I love how this turned out. I am not perfect at this by any means. This is the artist something journal from Michaels. It was the cheaper of the two. I think I spent $8. I have various washi tape that I've accumulated over time doing this and not sticking with it. I think all of it is from Michaels except for this one, which was from Staples maybe. And then these are the two pens that I used. I already used these kinds of pens and knew I like them and I also got a gold one somewhere but I can't find it so I'm sorry. So I didn't do anything with this and this journal does have a lot of these title pages. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with them but I'm not filling them in. So here's my title page. It's just kind of the color vibe for my yearly stuff. Black, gold. I put the year and this ghost sticker. Ghosts are kind of <laughs> my thing I guess. If you are new to my channel, I'm a big horror and thriller reader, and I have a lot of like ghost decorations on my shelves. I've done some readathons that tend to be ghost themed, so this felt right. So I started off with a YouTube growth tracker. So my goal for 2024 is 5k. It feels a little bit of a stretch, but also maybe doable. If it doesn't happen, it doesn't happen. What am I supposed to do about that? But it's just kind of a goal for myself. Um, and then I will put my starting, then I'll be putting the numbers that I end with every month. So I obviously have more than 12 squares here. So I have three extra that I need to fill. I haven't decided yet if I'm going to put all of the extra ones across the top and then do January through December this way, or if I am going to put the extra ones here and then go March, April, May, June, July, August and go down. That's why I haven't completely filled out all of the months. I figured I have until April really to decide. So then going forward, I have my Instagram and Patreon one. This is very similar setup. I have my goal. So for Instagram, I want to get to 3k. Um, Patreon, I want to get to 85 paid members. But I just have some washi tape at the bottom and I wrote stuff in my gold pen that I lost. Next, I have two 24 in 2024 lists. The first one is 24 to read from my shelves or I have to unhaul them. I did this in 2023 and I completed it. I either got rid of them because I decided I didn't want to read them anymore or I obviously read them. So this is my list for this year. Um, kind of ones I needed a push to get to, some that I'm pretty excited for. And then I have my 24 five-star predictions. So these are all new release five-star predictions. I have a video out about this one already and then I'll have one of this list coming. So there are two cats on here. I have two cats, an orange cat Winston and a black cat and white cat Nova, but she's mostly black. So I wanted to add those on the shelves. The sizing is a little off because Nova is bigger than Winston and also they are both bigger than a book. But we don't need to talk about that. Um, I have this little ghost on my shelf. It's white. So next is my library borrows. I am a big lover of the library. So I have every month um, I'm going to just write in the title, maybe do some coloring, I haven't decided. And then I also have these little cards that I'm going to write everything on. I have one for every month, and then they will just kind of live in this little pocket. I thought this was so much fun to make. Moving on, I will be tracking my digital reads. So I have a box for every month, and whenever I read a book from a digital Place. I will be coloring in one of these little squares and then I have a key so if it's from Libby it will be gold if it's from Everan it'll be black whatever so this is just to see how many I borrow digitally so ebooks and audiobooks and then what service I get them from next we have my two book clubs that I run I'm one of three hosts for the pyramid book club we read multiple genres so I thought it would be fun to have the book covers and then I can fill in my star rating afterwards. So this is the first four months of the book club and then 
on my Patreon. It is potato themed. Um, I don't really know how that happened, but I do love potatoes. So that's really what it is. And for um, some of my tiers, we have a book club where we read a book and then we vote if it was a spud or a dud. So <laughs> a good or bad book. We're really just reading books together, but I'm really excited because we're going to be doing video calls together moving forward. So it's going to be really fun to hang out with people. And our book for January is Bright Young Women. So I will just be adding in book covers like this moving forward once I know what things are. Next, I have Escape the TBR. This is my TBR game that I play every month. My January video will be out very soon. I created a house layout. There are rooms that are different colors and each color coordinates with the genre. So if I end around in a red room, I have to pick a horror book that fits with one of the prompts that I pull. There are doors that are locked and unlocked that's determined based on card pulls. So I'm trying to escape this haunted house. I could end up with one book on my TBR. I could end up with 30 books on my TBR, really depending on how <laughs> the board lets me go. So I put some of these stickers up here and I kind of wanted to make this look a little more chaotic because the game kind of is. So I have January here and I plan on just kind of like cramming in all of the book titles and like fitting everything on these two spreads and like making it look kind of messy but in a fun way because I feel like that fits the vibe of my game. Next I have a DNF page. I am just going to write <laughs> the title and when I DNF it on this and then I have an out of my comfort zone page. Recently I have been reading a lot of books outside of my comfort zone so I just have this little table. I have the title, the genre, the rating, and why I read the book if I have anything exciting there. Usually it'll just be my friends forced me to read it or I did a video that caused me to read something out of my comfort zone. Next I have a book haul page. This is pretty simple. So I'll just write the month and then I will make a list. I want to keep track of this by month because I'm going to be making quarterly book hauls on my channel. So I figured it'd be helpful to have a place to keep track of all of that. And then the same thing, I have a book on haul tracker. I won't be doing quarterly unhauls but I still would like to know when I unhaul books and what ends up leaving my shelves throughout the year. Speaking of my shelves, these are all 87 books on my TBR. So I own all of these books, but have not read them. I feel like 87 isn't too ridiculous. I truly don't care how many books other people own, but for me, 87 feels like a lot. I feel like for me, when I have this many books, things just kind of fall to the wayside. Is that the saying? And then I end up unhauling things in the future because I didn't get to it when I was excited and now I don't care to read it anymore because my tastes have changed or I've read too many books like that already and that one just doesn't seem like it'll be anything special or whatever. So I kind of want to be trying to read as many of these as I can throughout the year. My goal is to get it down so that I own like maybe around 15 books and then I can buy books when I'm excited about them and read them at that time. I know, so groundbreaking. <laughs> So I have all of that here. The first row and then this side are books that I owned before 2023. So I did get a good chunk of the ones I already owned read in 2023. And then the rest of them are ones that I um, either bought or were gifted throughout the year from various places. Um, they were not all <laughs> new books, but I wanted to keep track of this. Hopefully when I do my flip through at the end of the year, almost all of these are colored in. I didn't add my key in. Honestly, I forgot until right now, but I'm going to be having four colors. So if I decide to unhaul the book without even reading it, it will be one color. If I start reading the book and I decide I don't want to continue it, that will be another color. And then if I read a book and enjoyed it and want to keep it on my physical shelves, I will make it one color. And then if I read it and decide I don't want to keep it anymore, that will be another color. So I think that will be a fun visual representation. I'll probably put the key maybe along this side, but this is one that I'm super, super excited to see at the end of the year. I just want to color them all in now, even though I have to wait. So the last thing I have are my 2024 reads. I decided that I wanted to do a book cover for all of the books that I read throughout the year. The reason I wanted to do this is because I will not be doing reviews for all of the books I read in my monthly spreads. I have not set up my January pages yet, but I will have a mix of my TBR. I will be tracking my video plans on there and I will be doing pages for readathons, different things like that. 
and then I'm only going to be doing book reviews for books that I read and loved and want to see my thoughts written down on. If you look, I I plan to read a lot. I have read, what, 260 books roughly in 2023. So I needed a lot of space. But can you imagine writing that many reviews? My hand would hurt. So I filled in pages for 200. And then I have three spreads of blank pages and I will be saving these for if I read over 200 and then I'll probably do yearly stats in this section at the end. Because of the numbers I have space for 320 I truly don't anticipate that. I think I will probably have to fill in this one but I will have at least some pages for some yearly stats at the end of the year and then this is where my January pages will start. Obviously there is nothing there. So my theme for the yearly stuff is like black and gold. And moving forward, I do plan on doing a lot of black and gold, but I think I'm gonna have a monthly color that I'm going to incorporate as well. So like I think January will be blue, which just makes me think of like cold and wintery. And that will be the addition of color. Um, so that it's cohesive the whole way through but not just black and gold the whole time because as much as I like the washi tape I've been using like I want to do some other things as well. So this is my 2024 reading journal flip through. Let me know if you have any favorite spreads or favorite pages. I'd also love to know if you have a reading journal and what you love to track in yours. I'm really happy with everything that I decided to put in here. I need to glue down this washi tape. I spent a lot of time thinking about what I kind of wanted to track in here so that I was interested in keeping up with everything and wasn't too overwhelmed at the same time. Yes, I know I have tons of spreads in here, but like this I won't have to do anything with for four months other than color this in and I can easily just go back and do that. So I really love how this turned out, especially for this being my first time doing any sort of like real setup other than just like making little lists. Thank you for hanging out with me. I hope you enjoyed seeing my 2024 reading journal setup. As of right now, I think I'm going to be doing quarterly flip throughs for you. So I will go through everything I just showed you and how that has filled in. And then my monthly spreads three months at a time. If you were looking to find me in other places on the internet, everything is linked in the description, including my bookstagram, my storygraph, and my Patreon. If you are interested on my Patreon, we are doing some craft nights, craft days where I will be doing my setup. We did one where I started everything in here and then I plan on doing some stuff to help me stay motivated and accountable with this. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any future content. I have a lot of end of year videos coming for you. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for hanging out with me and hope to see you in the next one. Bye!